It is one of the prettier views on whole AT. Fun day, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Yep. Tricky? It's always better once you get to the top. What's that? It's always better once you get to the top. Oh, yeah. We're going up there, huh? I would imagine we're going over a couple mountains today. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it is hot up here. I'm guessing you're through hiking. I mentioned I heard you mention Blood yeah. Mountain, and yeah. a, a day hiker wouldn't have been to Blood Mountain. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you were. You'd have wings. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Give it 13 minutes. 13? Really? From the time we got off of that one. The We're not bad. Guessing. We're more than a mile up. Until we get a large percentage of the population, <laughs> Jane is bald. The population vaccinated, that is Poor Jane. a likely scenario. Ideally, we would want to disrupt transmission okay. in a big way. That will happen. Yep, you got a sign, so that means you usually need a top. Of a race against the virus because yeah. most of the vaccines work against again. most of the yes, exactly. right now. There will be more breakthroughs. And I'm off the top of the mountain, I'm off the sun-soaked thing. You'll notice the... I haven't seen a mirror, so it's probably very uh, bed-heady. I had a watch for call time. Oh... And there's the little eggshell, or something. It looks like an eggshell. Anyhow, um, it's nice in here. It's a little overcast, and I don't have to worry too much about the sun. Also, it's a wonderful okay. cave. Howdy, how are you? Doing good. That's good. Okay. Hot Springs. Is it white in hot spring? Hot spring. Hot and you said hot spring. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice little cave. If your tent doesn't go up, there you go. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, hot spring. That's a while ago. Yeah. One of the hills or mountains I had to climb because it's the highest one around. And because you see those orange spots, those are people that I've been passing off and on with playing leapfrog. During the day, if they stop for a break, I go around them and vice versa. Only they're all faster than me. Anyhow, it also gives you some perspective of how big the hill is and how small the people are. And that's part of, part of the reason why I pulled the camera out at this point in time. So, it is beautiful. But it's still up to go. I thought I was done with the ups for today. But evidently not, because we came up this hill going that way, and we got to the top, and then we turned to come this way. So, alrighty. I'll probably do something when I'm there. Look at those clouds for now. And yes, it's been raining off and on for a few hours now. So I've got the umbrella in the very handy position of... I don't know where the hell I do with it. Oh, there it is. It's in my shirt. Stuck to my shirt. Because every time I went through the trouble, it takes a little longer to put it away correctly. And then it would start raining. So now that I put it away incorrectly and just jammed it in my shirt, it stopped raining for a while. But as you can see, the skies are not promising yet that we're not going to get another one. So I figured I'd wait a little bit. All right. Um, it's me. And I don't have my hat on, and I don't have the buff on my head. But it's cloudy enough where I'm not too worried about the UV rays at the moment. There have been a few times where I had to put it back on. All right. Bye-bye. And we are at the top of the hill. Houston Ridge. Now, it's a dedicated memory of Stanley A. Murray. So I don't understand why they called it Houston, but then we're on the Rowan Highlands. So again, I don't understand. But there's a lot in this world I don't understand. I'm sure there's a reason. 
and probably when I'm watching the videos when I get back home I'll pro probably pause it and go look it up on Google but now I've got more important things to do I've got to get home or at least back to a bed and it's five miles which means it's five hours and it's a little after four because my alarm went when I sat here to eat that was ten minutes ago so I'm gonna put my camera away and I'm gonna try and hustle down because I don't know whether or not it's gonna rain the rest of the day or not I suspect not but I don't know this and I would like to get in and get if I get in early enough I can order something to eat other than that I'll have to pick through whatever I can find and I will also be able to get to bed early enough because I have to do laundry this stuff is dirty again even though it was laundered yesterday and I was new fresh this morning and you can see I've got, got a busy man got places to go people to see alrighty catch you later bye bye Whew. okay leaving North Carolina this may be the last time we leave North Carolina, I do not know. But, one thing I'm pretty sure of, I lost my phone about 4 o'clock, between 4 and 5. Because I looked at it at 4, and then went to look at it at 5, and it was no longer there. Alrighty, catch you later. Three. Howdy. Unusual rock formation. At least it's unusual to me. And unfortunately, looking up, I get um, uh, aquaphobia. I'm sorry. Yeah, standing next to skyscrapers does it too. It works in both directions, which I think is weird. So I don't know if you actually call it acrophobia, but that's how it works for me. Oh, yeah. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Fortunately, I don't feel like I want to fall from here. It's just very uncomfortable. Usually when I'm on top of something and I'm at the edge, I do feel, you know, the falling sensation. Weird. But, well, it sounds like the rain's going to start again. Let me put this away.